Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can log the events of someone being logged in or registered, something like this as you can see on the screen. So in your Laravel log or in your database, whatever, you could log something like registered or logged in. And this is based on the example I found on Twitter by Tom Printy, public gist. And by the way, if you want to publish your code snippet or some small portion of your project publicly, you don't necessarily have to create a package from that or write a blog. You can just publicly post the so-called gist. It's just a set of files on GitHub. So this gist called adding logging to Laravel authentication. This is a short instruction. And in this video, I will demonstrate it to you how it actually works with a few comments. And I've noticed the pattern. I see quite a lot of things on Twitter publicly, but in a short form, not that visual. So there's a tip about some syntax or about some technique, but people don't visually see before and after what actually happens. So in the video format, I'm trying to, well, promote the author and their work and extend that to show visually what happens. So let's take a look. The code is in the event service provider, you would add listeners. So there's an array already, by the way, in Laravel, in default Laravel, listen, which has one event by default. So this is the default Laravel event service provider, which has listen. So on registration, there's a default listener of send email verification notification. So if you enable the verify email function in your Laravel auth, then it would send verification email as you can see here. So that's the default event service provider, but we can attach more keys and more values here. And there are a lot of events provided by Laravel framework itself, which we can code in a listener like this guest. So I've recreated that activity log activity class with a few changes. Like for example, I've called it log activity listener instead of just log activity, because I like the suffixes to immediately know what the file name is for and what the file is for. Then not sure if you know, you can shorten this path. So instead of doing every time you need, for example, in a few places in the same file, you would do this. But did you know we can shorten that to use the namespace, provide the shortcut for that, and then use that shortcut in all the places where you need inside of that class. That makes the code a little bit shorter. Then also, I like to use request helper instead of request facade class. So I wouldn't add the use another section, another use method. Then for this info, if we scroll down to the method of info, instead of doing log info as the original gist here, we can just use info helper. And then in the event service provider, I've recreated, copy pasted the array keys and values. So each of the events from Laravel is caught with listener with specific method. And by the way, did you know that you can provide not only the listener class, which would have handle method, but also multiple methods within that class. So for example, password reset, failed, registered, logout and login and assign specific methods with add symbol like this. Pretty handy, I would say. And Laravel fire those events internally if you want to dive deeper. So for example, there is a session guard file which has a function called fire login event, which basically dispatches the event. So there are a lot of events happening in Laravel related to auth. So if we go to, for example, illuminate auth events, I click that in PHP storm and see how many events are there. Logout, attempting, password reset, authenticated, and stuff like that. So we catch only some of them here. And in the listener, we just log the information and listener event, depending on the class, has some data inside. So event user is a typical object within that login, for example. And if we try to register, for example, this project contains auth based on our Lara starters package. There's a free package, Laravel daily Lara starters, which contains nine starter themes, Tailwind and Bootstrap. And I will link that in the description below. You can try it out. But anyway, we register with fake filler. And then in our Laravel log file, we should see, yep, two events, my recent logged out and then user registered and user logged in from local IP address. So that's it, a quick demonstration of the same GIST so you would understand how it works. Thanks, Tom, for the tip on GIST and publishing it on Twitter. And I will continue reviewing such tips in video format, but the original work is still on Twitter and belongs to the authors. I do often retweet them. 
So you should follow me on Twitter as well at Pavelos Corp or subscribe to my weekly newsletter that I send every Thursday with a lot of those tips listed as links. So don't miss any of them. Subscribe and see you guys in other videos.